How to adjust Smart Touch settings on your PS50 or PS80 picture saver scanner. Relevant Smart Touch settings will be reviewed in this video. Additional Smart Touch information, such as the Using Smart Touch Guide, is available at the Laris World website using the following link. For certain colored photographs, it is not enough just to scan them in color. Therefore, the scanner settings need to be adjusted for the scan images to better resemble the original photograph. Open the Smart Touch application to change these settings by selecting Configure when opening Smart Touch from your toolbar. You can find the descriptions of the options on the Smart Touch configuration window on pages 5 through 9 of the Using Smart Touch guide. You can select the Settings button and use the General Adjust and Size tabs to alter your photo settings. In the General tab, you can choose to scan in color, black and white, or grayscale based on your preference. When scanning a photo, select Photograph as a document type. For Media Type, choose Glossy Paper or Cardstock. Most of the time, a resolution of 300 dpi is sufficient. Note that selecting 600 or 1200 dpi increases scanning and processing time. It may also result in poor image quality as the scanner camera will pick up more imperfections from the photographic document. Under compression, you can set your quality as best for standard size reprints of scanned image files or you can select Superior if you want to reprint enlargements of scanned image files. In the Adjust tab, you can use Automatic, Manual, or other advanced settings to change the brightness and contrast, color balance, sharpen, and background smoothing options to improve the appearance of your scanned image. In the Size tab under Document, you can choose for the scanner to automatically detect and straighten, which automatically detects the image to be scanned and to straighten it. You can also choose Just Automatically Detect or Set as Manual, where you can select to scan the entire photo or just part of it. You can choose to add or remove a border. Next, you can set your post-scan rotation to rotate your scan image to automatic 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, or none. Under the Enhance tab, it is advisable to disable all features, as they are not needed in most cases for processing photo images. When completing, the settings can be saved into a profile. To do this, click on the Home button near the bottom left corner of the window. You can create a new Smart Touch profile by clicking the Save As button and naming your profile. Your change settings will now be saved to this profile. You can then call that profile in the Smart Touch configuration window at the bottom where it says Scan As. You can find how to set the Scan As settings and how to customize Smart Touch tasks on pages 11 through 14 of the Using Smart Touch guide. In the configuration window, you can also choose to save your scan images to your computer by clicking Browse under Folder. Looking at this photograph of a tree, the scan image appears a little different from the original photograph. If your scan image does not resemble the original photograph to your level of satisfaction, you can use the mentioned Smart Touch settings to alter it. To make the scan image look more like the original photograph, click on the Adjust tab in Smart Touch and switch the Contrast and Brightness and Color Balance options to Automatic. If the image is not to your satisfaction, you can manually adjust the contrast and brightness and color balance options under the Adjust tab in Smart Touch and Rescan.
For more information on improving the appearance of your scanned image, please refer to our How to Improve Image Quality video. If the image is still not to your satisfaction, you can replace a fixed background strip already placed in your scanner with a flexible background strip. You can find the replacement procedure in the How to Replace Your Scanner background video. After replacing the background strip, make sure to run the image and mechanical calibrations also shown in the video before proceeding to rescan the photo. The image should then correctly resemble the original photograph.